Hello friends, it's Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain and Philip and I are here at the homestead here in Kentucky and tonight I am going to be doing some Dutch oven cooking. Now I'm going to be honest, I'm not very good at it and so you're going to be learning along with me but today I'm going to go ahead and get the bread ready for this evening. Normally I make my bread in the KitchenAid. I haven't made bread by hand in a very long time. But I'm going to be doing that today and um, also I'm going to be cooking it in the Dutch oven this evening. Now my recipe is actually for the bread maker so I'm going to kind of wing it a little bit putting it together. But let's go ahead and I'm going to let you join me as I make my bread. Now, if you've watched my video about how I prepare for a trip to Kowalski Mountain, I've already measured the flour and the oatmeal. Add some salt. Now, this is my favorite bread making recipe. This is maple oatmeal bread. I've already done my yeast and my hot water. Uses one third cup of maple syrup. and a tablespoon of oil. Whoops. Overflowed that just a bit. Let's get this all mixed up. You can tell it's going to be a mistake cooking near these dishes. I've already got flour on them a couple of times. Let's go ahead and cover those with a towel. <clears throat> now once this bread makes a ball, I'm going to knead it. And in the old days when I used to make bread by hand regularly, I learned that when a recipe says you need to knead it for 10 minutes, you need to knead it for 10 minutes. That's important to work the dough that length of time. Now since this is a bread machine recipe, I don't have those types of instructions, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it for that long. I'm gonna knead it for 10 minutes because I know that that is a normal amount of time. Got my timer set. I've floured my surface. And I'm gonna knead this. Now I brought some extra flour with me. Feels a little sticky still. Now I have one concern when making my bread is that the RV is not super warm. So we are running the heater. We have a little space heater that we've been running um, at night. And when I need it, I turn on the heat. But I'm not keeping the heat running when nobody's in here. So, I'm hoping that it'll be warm enough for my bread to rise. We're going to find out. Now, if you've ever made bread before, you do kind of get the feel of when the bread is, the dough is ready. You can kind of feel it. That it feels um, elastic and soft. Right now, I'm still feeling a little bit sticky. So I keep adding a little bit of flour to it because I can feel the stickiness. Now I told you I was a little bit worried about the, the bread rising because it's not that warm in here. It's not freezing, but it's not um, warm. Like I'm comfortable right now. Um, I don't need that heat on right now, but for my bread to rise, it's not that warm. <clears throat> so I got to thinking about how I would handle that. So what I've done is I've put some water to boil here on the stove and I'm going to bring that water to a boil. Now once it comes to a boil it's going to create plenty of heat and uh, 
and some steam as well. I'm going to put that in the oven with my bread dough to kind of uh, warm up that space a little bit. I don't want to cook the bread. I just want it to rise. So we'll see if it works. Now you can kind of see that the bread is responding to my actions. You can see it being a little bit elastic. Now I'm in that camp when it says you need to knead the dough for 10 minutes. You need to knead it for 10 minutes. I've just found that that makes a really big difference in how well my bread rises. So I'm using this board to not make a mess, but it is pretty annoying to be working the dough on top. I'm doing that for ease of cleanup more than anything. You can see how elastic the dough is. It's responding to my touch. Still a little bit sticky, so I'm going to add some more flour. If I were to make bread this way all the time where I hand kneaded it, I would use a bread bowl. Um, a bread bowl was just a flour bowl that they kept their flour in and they kneaded it right in that bowl every time they made bread. And they did it every day or every couple days so they used it frequently. But it also eliminated that cleanup every time because you did it in the bread bowl. You didn't waste the flour because it was it stayed in the bowl and you just added to it as you needed more. This is making me appreciate my KitchenAid. Okay, my water is to a full boil, so that's really good. That's going to create some heat and steam inside my oven. So hopefully my bread will rise appropriately. All right, I'm happy with that. Now I have just a disposable pan. Um, we keep a lot of this here in the RV. Put that in my pan. And I should check and make sure that it's going to fit inside of my Dutch oven. So let me get that out. So this is the Dutch oven that I'm going to be cooking uh, my bread in. And I just want to make sure that the pan does indeed fit inside of here, which it does. That's really all I need to do. Now I'm going to let this rise. So I have my water boiling. I'm going to put my bread dough right into the oven. And I'm just going to put that pot of hot water inside the oven. It's just sitting in there and it's there to create some heat and some steam. So hopefully my dough will rise the way it should. I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to take you on the rest of the journey this evening when I cook the chicken and the bread in the Dutch oven.